Okay, so what we're going to run through today is some uh, work that's been co-funded by uh, the Department of Agriculture, New South Wales DPI and GRDC, um, looking at the latest findings, I guess, from work we did in 2011 on root lesion nematodes throughout central and northern New South Wales. So moving the first one, very briefly, um, what they are. So they're microscopic worms in the soil. Um, they basically swim in free water. And within the northern region, there's two important species, and it's important to distinguish those two species. So there's Pratolinchus thornii and there's Pratolinchus neglectus, and they differentially can affect wheat varieties and differentially host on some of the break crops. What they basically do is live inside root systems. Um, you can see an adult, uh, large adult uh, nematode here and some eggs, and they... Uh, live within there and basically feed on root systems. So what then that does is affects the roots. So up the top here we've got a healthy root system, whereas where you've got the root lesion nematodes feeding, uh, they're causing extensive lesions uh, on the roots and other things then can get in an attack such as fungi and actually reduce the extent of basal, of, of branching of lateral roots. So when you then look at that in the paddock, what you end up with is, is a crop that basically looks uh, nutrient stressed. So you see a lot of yellowing of lower, lower leaves. Uh, they just can't take up nitrogen because they don't have an effective root system and they appear quite stunted. And off to the side of the photo, you can see a more tolerant variety here that's still got big numbers of nematodes in the soil but can actually deal with that. So basically, if you haven't got a root system, you haven't got the, the ability to take up water and nutrients and the crop looks quite stressed. So where are they? Uh, moving on to that, how we've done that is basically through a DNA-based test uh, in collaboration with the South Australian Department of Agriculture, SARDI. Uh, so this is quite a d uh, selective test and, and, and can pick up a lot of these, these nematodes in the soil. So the survey I've done, second year this year, across 12 agronomy districts through central northern New South Wales with the little red dots there. Um, we do a 0 to 30 centimetre soil sample so we can pick them up, the nematodes up at depth. And in 2011, we basically surveyed 248 paddocks uh, across that region with at least 19 to 24 in each district. What we use is a little uh, soil corer and collect at least 20 samples across the one hectare trial area we've got. Um, and I guess the, the idea of the picture here, you probably don't want to end up with this much stubble, but you need to target the old rows because that's where the roots will be concentrated. So if you target the old rows, you'll pick up where the nematodes are. And basically what we've found that 82% of random paddocks had root lesion nematodes. So we haven't gone looking for paddocks that we expect to have a problem. We've found that 82% of them actually had either Pratolinchus thorny or Pratolinchus neglectus. And actually 26% of them had a mixture of both species in there. What we can then do, bud, is actually break it down across the different agronomy districts. So here we're looking at uh, Pratolinchus neglectus and the blue bars are actually looking at the distribution. So the number of paddocks within each district where we detected Pratolinchus neglectus. So for example, Coona Barabran, we've got over 70% of the random paddocks, we could find Pratolinchus neglectus. The red bars, the red bars are actually um, where the population is above 2,000 Pratolinchus neglectus per kilogram of soil. So 2,000 is the critical value. Once you get above that threshold, you can get yield loss in tonic varieties. So as you can see, Coona Barabran, 70% of paddocks had Pratolinchus neglectus and about 10% were above 2,000 we would expect to get yield loss. So certainly you can see there's some districts like Moray West that don't have a, a big issue with Pratolinchus neglectus and higher numbers in others. So when you look across the all 12 agronomy district, 38% of random paddocks had Pratolinchus neglectus and 5% were above the threshold for yield loss in intolerant varieties. The bigger problem for us in the central northern New South Wales is, is the second species, Pratolinchus thornii. So you can see here that the blue bars certainly go right up. So some of the districts, Moree East, Narrabri uh, in particular, 100% of paddocks, every random paddock we went into, we could find Pratolinchus thornii. And a lot higher proportion of the paddocks are actually above that 2,000 threshold. So Moray East, again, every single paddock we could find it in a random survey, and over 80% of them were actually above 2,000. Um, so quite a big problem. So certainly if you're cropping in that Moray East area up around North Star all up there, you're definitely farming with these things in your system and causing a problem. So average across the 12 districts, Pratolinchus thornio was found in 70% of random paddocks and in 33% of paddocks were above that threshold for yield loss in intolerant varieties. And I guess breaking down into Moray East, that was a paddock there was the highest population we found, so 50,152 per kilogram of soil, so 25 times the threshold, and actually 30% of paddocks in the Moray East district were above 15,000, uh, which is so quite high numbers, so very, very challenged district for these nematodes. 